Hey everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and in this video I'm going to show you a super sweet $45 or less micro hay barn that we built. Well, actually two different kinds. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. So here at our homestead, we're limited in space. We have only about one acre, well right at one acre, but we've got a cow, we've got goats, loads of chickens, tons of rabbits, all kinds of yada yada and yippy skippy, but we don't have a lot of space and we don't have a lot of money. So, that being said, we have to come up with creative solutions to solve our problems. And well, we needed to get a bunch of hay through the winter, so we had to come up with this. No, this monstrosity is not a piece of modern art. It's our makeshift put together hay thingy barn, and it was cheap. I'm gonna show you another one that was even cheaper, but let me give you a view of what, what we did here with this. So what you can see here is we had a dog kennel that we basically took a couple hog panels and wire tied them as a canopy over the top and wire tied everything together. We've got a pallet wood floor that keeps the hay up off the ground and uh, we just put basically a $5 Harbor Freight kind of tarp over the top of this. It tears down easy, you can move it easy, and well, doggone, it's cheap and it's effective and it's working great. And another cool thing, it's, it's really nice and warm in here, especially it's really cold out, I think it's in the 30s. I'm kind of adult, I didn't wear a jacket, my nose is red, my fingers are cold. But anyway, also to point out that this little structure, even though it's small, it can hold about 80 bales of hay, so yeah. Okay, so that one's cool and all, but let's go in over to the other side of our little pen here. I'm gonna show you the one that's even cheaper, pallet wood frame, yeah. So as you can see, this one here, over there, right there, that one has a framework of the pallets. Now you get those pallets for free. You just gotta ask, you know, whatever Rural King or, or uh, you know, a tractor supply store, they have these things all the time for free. You can go pick them up and uh, we just put the hog fence over the top, just like the other one. We've got the uh, wire, it's all wire tied together. Some of it's nailed down, but uh, we got all that junk. Sorry, I'm confused. Junk in front of there, like a swimming pool. That's just to keep these yahoos from getting in there and eating it up because they keep trying, but we will thwart their plans. So now, once again, these are not permanent structures, nor were they designed to be. This is a quick fix because we had to get some hay, we gotta get it in there, and winter was coming. We had the hog panels and we got the pallets for free, uh, unlike the other one where the, the kennel was basically the foundation or the, the structure, the framework rather, but um, they're never intended to be uh, permanent, but uh, bottom line is this stuff can be done cheaply, you don't have to spend a lot of money you can get creative and um, well solve your problems if you just kind of scratch your head and go all right how can I fix this so anyway hope you like the video if you don't mind please do like and subscribe it does help our family out I'm Brad with the big family homestead and I'm freezing so this video is over because it's like 30 degrees bye so here on our homestead we only have sorry the goats are down here the goats are getting at me hi goats bye goats what are you gonna do?